Filipe the wife abroad and here we are again and you know I'm really looking forward to this day because but we are gonna give you this one the name is Gascon welcome back to our channel Filipino wife abroad and I already have my two glasses here and they're ready for our wine day come with us guys because we are gonna give you another review of another new wine so what we've got today or right now is this one 14 hands this is from Argentina this is a red wine like what red type wine. of red wine is it pinky Malbec Malbec. Malbec is the type of the wine. It is famous South American wine. It's usually grown in the drier, more arid areas in um, Peru and Argentina. Well, 14 hands is kind of Merlot. Merlot. Ah! TSI. So this is a kind of Merlot. Okay! Merlot! Merlot! 14 hands is from, I said, Columbia Palma. Valley. So this is from Colombia? No, it's Columbia Valleys in Oregon, I believe. Where? Oregon. Oh, Washington, so okay, so Oregon. this is from the US, okay? Yeah, it's on the West Coast. Well, Chris is gonna open this. So guys, so here's Chris. Malbecs are famous. They're reasonably new in popularity in the last 25 years. But they have, uh, they're a bit stronger. So you're gonna get a stronger hint of uh, some spices. Uh, even a pepper. Uh, the Malbecs pair really well. It's having a wonderful steak. So. so, all right, so we're gonna try this. And of course, I'm gonna turn this over to my husband. Open it because it's a cork. Oh, that's really cool. So Merlots are very smooth in general. They don't have a lot of bold, uh, bold flavors. And they're not generally dry. They're wet to the taste and they're pretty smooth. So many people like Merlot just because it's a, it's a simple wine you can't go wrong with. There's nothing so offensive about it in any way, shape or form. Or, or for that matter, many other people say it's simply bowl, uh, boring. So boring. this is either boring, but it's gonna be smooth and it could be very yummy if you're not in the habit of drinking Merlot. Uh, first is you get to shake it like this and you get to look at if there's mark in there and I can see mark. It's that's the first step in determining whether or not it's mark. it's acceptable. Did it, but they'll refill a bottle mm -hmm. with cheap wine. Mm -hmm. So you think you're buying an expensive bottle, but the fact is they're just putting cheap wine in. Oh an my goodness, bottle. so they returned a cork there. Well, yeah, they'll fake a cork going in. They'll put a they'll put a cheap cork in, but they'll sell you Don't a, tell me some hotels are doing that. Yeah, so a lot of restaurants will buy a $3 bottle of wine, a two-buck chuck, and put a $30 price tag and reuse the bottles. Oh, my goodness. Yes. If oh. it runs like water, it may have been watered down before bottled. Okay, so the next is we're going to shake it, shake it, shake it, boom. All right, so there is Mark a little bit here. So it's most likely not watered down. That's a good sign. Oh, but if there's no mark, that would be grape juice. It would mm -hmm. be water. That it's not watered down, so that's the first good sign. And the second step is you can smell it. Oh. If the smell is not... As long as it's not stinky. Stinky. Um, you want to make sure that the wine hasn't gone bad before you taste it. Really good. It smells really good. The key so is... This... Uh, it's quite common. Okay, next step is, of course, we get to smell it. I like the smell of Malbec last week. So Malbec is better than Merlot. Second is smelling and third okay, is tasting. Okay, so let's taste it. Um, it's a little strong when it's in your tongue. Bold more than strong. Mm. You got to remember these grapes have been highly stressed. They're in a very arid environment. And the more stressed they are, the bolder the, the flavor. It's a little bitter. For me, a little bitter is good, but it's cold. It's cold in the throat. Yeah, smooth. It's striking now in my head and in my body. Ooh. So the next to do is taste this, all right? Well, strong. 
And I'm surprised because Chris said that it's mild and I don't think so. Malbec is actually milder. This is very strong and I can really feel kind of alcohol or something. It's strong. I'll be tipsy shortly. Well, I would rather go for um, Malbec. But guys, of course, this is not bad. So I gotta give it to my husband for him to try this too, okay? It's strong, right? It's grape. Yeah, I mean, to me, this has no flavor to it. It's like... Oh, really? grape juice. Oh, so, grape juice? So for me, oh. yeah, Merlot is a bit bland to me. It's just my taste. I prefer a Malbec. That's, you know, this is really surprising because you said that... You know, it's just, it, it's tasting like grapes, but for me, it tastes like rum, something like that. All right, so Chris, turn. Let's see. Dun, dun, da, da. Yeah, I find that bold. I can see where this would pair really well with the steak, by the way. Maybe even some um, red pasta. Out of 10? I think I can give this eight. Wow. All right. So out of 10, Charming. I'd give this a good six to seven. For the price, I'd give it a nine. I think we're gonna give this a toast, Charming. So what do you rate it? Gotta give it a number. Out of 10, I think I'm gonna give like 5.5. So guys, poor score for that. So that's all guys. And cheers, Charming. Cheers. Yep. So guys, thank you for watching. Gascon Malbec. So out of 10 for Chris, he's giving this 7. Me giving it 8. See you next Friday. So that is 14 hands, a kind of Marlo. Please don't forget to subscribe to Filipino Wife Abroad and liking and commenting down there. Thank you so much, guys.